Pop this just to save a dang crawfish. Here, as promised, Nancy's all yours. Boiler, griller, do whatever you like. I'm not doing any of that tour. <laughs> all right, we're out of here. Thanks, for both me and Nancy. Enjoy that sushi, huh? Oh, yes, will do. <laughs> Nancy, you and I are gonna get on just fine. for the homeless. Real thankful for stuff like this. Hey, you! This place is for people in need. Huh? Look, buddy, I'm not here for a bite to eat. Don't play dumb with me. I saw you eye in the soup. <sighs> well, hold up. I told you, you got the wrong idea, all right? Terracotta-san, just leave it be. I know you're hungry, but there's no need to get uppity at folks. Now why don't we go get back in line? You got too damn soft. The soup kitchen's all we got. Hey, calm down. Uh, this is all your fault, fuckwit. Oh, look out! You okay? Stupid son of a bitch. I got you this time! Go. Yo. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh! For real? ありがとうございます。Yeah.
言いたいことでも Up. Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I love going up to places like this. Uh, this roof gonna be okay. It's not gonna break or anything, is it? <laughs> Maybe we should jump around and find out. Wait, don't. Stop! Hey, did we even come up here for any particular reason? <laughs> no, no reason. Just look like fun. Oh. One of those boys will be boys things, I guess? Except... we're kinda old. <laughs>
Naruchka is scared. Here we go. I got this. Yes. Oh, I know. Get it. If it isn't Awano. Oh, Kasuga-san. Nice to see you again. So this is the Kasuga-san that helped you. That's right. The very same. I wanted to say thank you. My grandmother's alive and well and out of the hospital. Hey, good to hear. 
I heard about how far you were willing to go for this silly boy. Sorry for all the trouble. No, don't worry about it. I'm just glad he was able to see you. <laughs> my, I didn't know gentlemen like you still existed. Here's my thanks for taking care of my grandson. You sure? Thank you very much. So where are you off to now? Huh? Oh, well, I'm gonna take my grandma somewhere special to celebrate her recovery. Where would you like to go, Grandma? Let's see. A hot spring would be lovely. A hot spring? Yeah, I could go for a bath. Well, we should get going. Take care, Kasuga-san. Thank you very much. Sure thing. Take care of your grandma. Of course. Sheesh. Didn't know bathing could run in the family.
いらっしゃいませ。Who's hungry? Me. Hmm. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh, Namba, it's kind of cute seeing you curl up with hot milk. Clearly, you fail to understand the many benefits it has to offer. Benefits? What, from heating up milk? That's right. Hot milk is good for the body and soul. It helps clear your skin, aids digestion, even loosens up the bowels and helps you fall asleep. Oh man, it does all that? <laughs> Glad I asked the party nurse. Maybe I should try some. Sure could use nicer skin. Is good. Hot milk always tastes like this. I'm glad you finally noticed. Hot milk's not just for kids, you know. Grown-ups need it too. You opened my eye. Okay, now you. Mm, <clears throat> tasty. Arigatou gozaimashita. Here we go. 
ありがとうね。ありがとYo, Sachan, you drinking by yourself? Yeah, isn't it pathetic? Sit down and help me save what's left of my pride. Huh? Everything all right? Well, you could say some stuff's happened. Oh, okay. I get it. Was there trouble over at the club you run? <laughs> Didn't I tell you I taught the girls how to run the place? Trouble's non-existent over there. Well, I know, but with Nonomiya-san gone, you're steering this boat all by yourself. It must be hard. 
I know for me it would be. Hmm. That's very perceptive of you. It's true there's been some small issues here and there, but I've been handling them just fine. That's not what's bothering me. Then what is? It's my sister, Nanoha. What's going on with her? Something happened? Remind me, how much did I tell you about my family while we were drinking the other night? You said you were too controlling when it came to Nanoha and your dad. Eventually there was a big fight and you left home. That was seven or eight years ago. And did I tell you the reason for that fight? Yeah, it was because you told Nanoha to break up with some chump. The boyfriend with the consulting firm? Okay, so I spilled all the beans. <laughs> anyway, his name's Katsuragawa, and apparently they're still together. Damn. Longer relationship than I've ever been in. If he wasn't so damn annoying, I might let this go. But Katsuragawa's a criminal. He's even been seen going in and out of Seiryu Clan HQ. Not to mention, he's dangerous and walks around with his own personal posse. He used to run with a biker gang. I mean, I've heard nothing but bad rumors about him since I left home. <laughs> Not a really knows how to pick him, huh? Shut up. I've got some girls from the club looking into him right now. I hope they can find out more. Trying really hard not to worry here since I can't do anything but wait. Ah, uh, so that's why you're drinking away your troubles in here. Yeah, well. <laughs> now that I've talked to you about it, I feel a bit better. Maybe I'll skip the next round. Oh, let's not start talking crazy now. <laughs> Dachi san Hey, Kasaga. Let's have a drink. On me today, huh? On you? You win the lottery or something? Nah, I'm just feeling good because for once, I've got some money left over after sending Takashi his allowance, so... Mm. Bartender, give me something dirt cheap and kerosene strong. I'm glad you were able to get some money to Takashi-kun. Same here. And look what I got today. It's a letter from Takashi. <laughs> I always look forward to these. Good shit. Did you read it already? Nope. I was just about to open it. Let's, uh, hope it says something about him passing the bar, huh? Well, <laughs> let's see what it says. Dear Yamada-san, Thank you so much for sending money again this month. <laughs> what, what's, what's with the laugh? <laughs> that name. Yamada-san. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it now. The kid knows me as a rich fucker named Yamada. Anyway, let me keep reading. I've been pretty busy with this year's bar on the horizon. Hmm. Ooh, so bar exams are coming up, huh? Yep. Yeah, I'm counting on him to pass this year. Give my wallet a break. What else did he say? I know it's sudden, Yamada-san, but I have a favor to ask you. The other day when I was riding my bike, I accidentally scraped the bumper of a parked car. Hmm. Apparently it was a really expensive car, and now the owner is demanding a million yen to cover the repair. I don't have that kind of money, not even close, Yamada-san. Do you think I might be able to borrow it from you? I'll promise to pay you back after I become a lawyer. Holy shit. One million to fix a bumper? Well, how, how am I supposed to come up with that? I mean, what does Takashi get off asking for such a huge favor? You say that, but doesn't Takashi-kun think you're some rich philanthropist? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess that's true, but shit. What's the real me supposed to do now? Guess you're gonna have to get out there and earn some cash, man. By the sweat of your brow. I guess so. But a million isn't something you can just go out and earn. Well, that's where the sweat comes in. You know, I gotta say, you got the most positive attitude of anyone I know. But attitude don't pay the bills. So, I need one million yen. Shit. 
Where do I even start? Wait, hold on. What's up? We were both surprised about the cost. A million is just way too much for a simple bumper fix. Hell yeah. I mean, you can buy a whole car for that much. A cheap one, but still. I'd say there's a pretty good chance this is a scam. A scam? Yeah, some con man probably parked his car on a road that was too narrow, then waited for some poor sucker to come by and scrape the car. Once that happens, the con man throws a fit and guilt trips the victim into paying. Damn. You know, you might be right, as fucked up as that is. And it wouldn't surprise me if Takashi fell for it. I mean, he studies so much, he probably doesn't know much about the real world. And most likely, he knows jack shit about cars as well. So how about this? You meet up with the owner of the car in person, Say you want to settle out of court. Yeah, if we catch him in a lie, mm, we give him what he deserves. This guy will be sorry he ever saw Takashi. <laughs> I like the way you think, Kasuga. Glad I read you that letter. Happy to help. I'll write Takashi back and ask for the car owner's contact info. Yeah, we'll see what's what. Man, I really thought I was in a tight spot for a minute there. <laughs> well, we're not out of the woods just yet. Well, you think I'm celebrating too early? There's some high-end, classier shit cars out there on the road. I mean, limited edition luxury sports cars go for hundreds of millions. And if Takashi-kun really did scrape a car, and it was one of those, then I don't doubt the repair would cost a million. Yeah, but come on, when was the last time you saw a luxury car around here? It's gotta be a scam. No doubt about it. I'm just saying, don't get ahead of yourself. Ahead of myself? I'm just trying to stay positive. Now. How about we drown those worries of yours with a drink? Bartender, pour us a couple tall ones. Put it on my tab. Hey, Namba. Anything gone down yet with that legend malt? Well, I've been watching the counter like a hawk, but the bartender wasn't kidding when he said nobody comes here. Yeah, he did say this was more of a hobby for him. That's exactly it. The only people coming in are our friends like Adachi and Sachan, which means that legend malt is probably just gonna sit behind the counter for the rest of our lives. I was worried over nothing. I feel better already. Well, I don't know if you should be that relaxed about it. It's not like he'd carry something he was never gonna sell. Welcome. Hmm. What a lovely little establishment you have. Your first time in, sir? It is. See? He does get actual customers. First time I've seen a first-timer. I've heard some rumors about this place from some good sources. Oh, yeah? Rumors about what? That you carry the fabled whiskey known as the Legend Malt. Ooh, uh... Well, then the rumors are true. Pour me a glass then, bartender. If anyone can appreciate such a thing, it's me. Huh. Ichiban, what now? What can we do? We gotta apologize before it's too late. But I'm too broke to apologize. Forget about the money. You'll be in even deeper shit if he drinks that. I really must apologize, but my legend malt isn't for sale. Why would that be? Is it reserved for your regulars? Not exactly. I just don't think you're fit to order it. Excuse me? You say this knowing I'm the editor-in-chief of Good Dandy? He's from Good Dandy? No way. What the hell is that? It's a rich man's magazine, full of nice cars and swanky restaurants. Well, that's terribly unfortunate. For you, if you had even a modicum of customer service, I'd have written you an absolutely dazzling review. Put me in your magazine or don't. That's your call to make. Believe you me, I'll be giving you the front page. Everyone's going to know about the snob running this backwater hole. 
this your idea of a quarrel, sir? Perhaps, but was it not you who flung the first stone? Fine. You backed me into a corner here. The legend malt on that shelf is something I ordered for a very special customer. I don't intend to offer it to anyone but her. And what makes her so special? The fact that she stole my heart. That bottle was to be a symbol of my affection. Time and time again, she would tell me how she dreamt of being able to try it. So I took it upon myself to indulge her and waited for her to arrive. But for as long as I waited, she never came through the door. Six months went by, then a year, until I finally got word that she had been in a car accident. She was taken from me. In some ways, that legend malt is the only thing I have left of her. Oh. Given that, are you still going to insist I pour it? I have walked through the doors of many a bar in my time. But I've never met a bartender with a tail like that. That quiet strength. The very essence of good dandy magazine. <laughs> he didn't even get to take a whiff of the bottle. And now he never will. I guess that settles it. Yeah, but now it's even bigger than we thought. We gotta do the honest thing and come clean. Why? Didn't you hear that story? The legend malts a treasure of his lost love. <sighs> I know, but I'll never be able to replace it on pocket change. Well, if you can't do it alone, then I'll help out. Y you serious, Ichiban? Yeah. All I've been doing till now is help you find ways to dodge the problem. What I should have done is help you do the right thing. Meaning, I'm just as guilty. We're in this together, man. Ichiban, you're a great guy, you know that? But I can't take advantage of you like that, man. I've got to come up with that money somehow. Ha! <laughs> what a jackass. He swallowed that story hook, line, and sinker. Come again? That long-lost love of mine? She never even existed. Then why wouldn't you pour him the legend malt? Back when I opened the place, I figured I'd need some high-end stuff behind the counter to draw in the big spenders. So I picked up an empty bottle of legend malt and filled it with bargain barrel whiskey. Purely for show. Nobody actually orders anything that expensive. But every once in a while, a dimwit like him waltzes in. So I give them the same old sob story and they scatter like roaches. Wait, so Namba, that means what you drank was... Bottom shelf swill. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Hey, what the hell's so funny? You gotta hear this. Guess what Namba did? Come on, don't say it. Don't you dare. Uh, sir, you can ignore this, Joker. <laughs> I don't understand you people. I guess it was the look of that bottle that got me thinking it was real. That ever happened to you? Where the taste is all in your head? Hey, <laughs> just be grateful you don't have to worry anymore. I still have to worry about people finding out. Ichiban, you wouldn't tell Adachi or Sachan about this, would you? Y you can't. Don't worry, man. I wouldn't rat you out like that. So, you'll keep it a secret? Yeah. But you have to buy me a drink. Bargain barrel whiskey, okay? Sure. It's a deal. I'll show you how it's done. I, I believe I'm gonna make it. You could find the word. They'll be there after you go. You better be 
into it. You're setting off out on your own Sorry, Eager go. to do things your own way Sun's shining bright <laughs> Your brand new journey starts today <gasps> You've got new clothes from head to toe Don't even look like the same guy Feels like a date Except you're actually saying goodbye Beautiful. All the pictures that I could take whoa, whoa. All the gigs these videos make bam, bam. None of it replaces the you that I know But they'll be there after you go I'll show you how it's done. I'll show you. you could find the words to say goodbye. This one's a real plus. Number! Yeah. I've been a fool, and you've been childish. You fell down, you got her chasing sweeter dreams Never could Go. hide the truth in your eyes Go. That's how I knew that smile was a lie You're killing it! I love you is something you never say hey. Couldn't get it out just pulled away Bam! So then why Please won't you tell me why You could find the words To say goodbye yeah. I'm such a mess I'm lost I'm no good at this I'm in love Still in love Still in love with you Heart yeah. is a trust In my view, I've been a fool. Yeah!